10 oldest monument in the world and their locations. 10. Gobekli Tpe. Gobekli Tpe known as Gire Marazan in Kurdish is a Neolithic archaeological site in southeastern Antalya region of Turkey. The settlement was inhabited from 9500 to at least 8000 BCE, during the Prep Pottery Neolithic. It is famous for its large circular structures that contain massive stone pillars, the world's oldest no megaliths. Many of these pillars are decorated with anthropomorphic details, clothing and reliefs of wild animals. It features large monolithic T-shaped pillars carved from limestones, numbers among the earliest no examples of man-made megalithic buildings constructed specifically for the requirements of their prehistoric builders. 9. Katalhoyuk, Turkey the Katalhoyuk is a tell of a very large Neolithic and Chalcolithic proto-city settlement in southern Anatolia which existed approximately 7500 BC to 6400 BC and flourished around 7000 BC. In July 2012 it was inscribed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Katalhoyuk provides important evidence of the transition from settled villages to urban agglomeration, which was maintained in the same location for over 2000 years. It features a unique streetless settlement of houses clustered back to back with a roof access into the buildings. Katalhoyuk was stumbled upon by a team of British archaeologists, David French, Alan Hall, and James Mellart. The site left such an impression on the men that Mellart with the vital help of his wife Arlette began to plan an excavation. 8. The Great Cairn of Barnanez the Great Cairn of Barnanez is a Neolithic monument located near Pluezic on the Kernelian Peninsula in the northern Finisterre, Brittany, France. It dates to the early Neolithic, about 4800 BC. Along with the tumulus of Bougan and Lochmariaker megaliths, also located in Great West France. It is one of the earliest megalithic monuments in Europe and one of the oldest man-made structures in the world. It is also remarkable for the presence of megalithic art. The imposing architecture stretches for 78 meters and dates back to 5000 BC, a period in Europe also brought the first polished stones, agriculture and animal husbandry. The long corridors of the cairn led to chambers that are believed to have been used for either burials or initiation ceremonies. 7. Monte Dacati, Italy. The Monte Dacati is a Neolithic archaeological site in northern Sardinia, located in the territory of Sassari. The site consists of a massive raised stone platform thought to have been an altar. It was constructed by the Otsieri culture or earlier, with the oldest parts dated to around 4000 to 3650 BC. The site was discovered in 1954 in a field owned by the Segni family. It is culminated into a platform AF about 125 meters by 7.2 meters accessible via a map. No chambers or entrances have been found, leading to the presumption it was an altar, a temple or a step pyramid. It may have also served as an observational function, as its square plan is coordinated with the cardinal points of the compass. Archaeological excavation from the Chalcolithic Abilza to Philogisa layers indicate the Monte Dacati was used for animal sacrifice, with remains of the sheep, cattle and swine recovered in near proportion. Bell Beaker pottery appears I Monte Dacati after 2500 BC. Finds include hemisphere bowls, cups, tripods or tetrapods and carinated bowls. Vessels were decorated in the pure maritime style as well as with more complex arrangements of triangles or zigzags. The Monte Dacati site appears to have been abandoned around 1800 BC, at the onset of the Nuragic Age. 6. Gintia Gintia is a megalithic temple complex from the Neolithic era, 3600 to 2500, on the Mediterranean island of Gozo in Malta. The Gintia temples are the earliest of the megalithic temples of Malta and are older than the Pyramid of Egypt. Their makers erected the two Gintia during the Neolithic which makes the temples more than 5500 years old and the world's second oldest existing man-made religious structures after the Gobekli Tepe in present-day Turkey. The structures together with other similar structures have been designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Megalithic Temples of Malta. Archaeologists believe this site was probably used for rituals or worship by a fertility cult. Maltese folklore describes giants as having built the temples which led to the name Gantia, meaning giant tower. 5. Shari Sukta the Shari Sukta dates 3650 to 2300 BC as an archaeological site of a Bronze Age urban settlement associated with the Helmland culture. 
It is located in Sista and Baluchistan province, the southeastern part of Iran, near the Zahedan Zabal Road. It was placed on the UNESCO World Heritage Site list in June 2014. The city was built on the Helmand River banks. Due to two environmental changes, it was abandoned, and the vacant city was never the habitat of any other nation. Covering 151 hectares of land, Shari Sukta is one of the largest sites of its own time. The site is full of information about that the rural life was being replaced by complex urban life. There are pieces of evidence showing that the city was a major trade center of the time. Findings represent evidence of industrial workshop for producing metal objects using technologies. These metal objects of daily use were transferred to the market after production. 4. Skara Bray the Skara Bray is a stone-built Neolithic settlement located on the Bale of Scale on the west coast of mainland, the largest island in the Orkney archipelago of Scotland. It consists of ten clustered houses made of flagstones, in eastern dams that provide support for the walls. The houses included stone hearths, beds, and cupboards, a primitive sewer system, with toilets and drains in each house, included with water used to flush waste into a drain and out to the ocean. The site was occupied from roughly 3180 BC to 2500 BC and is Europe's most complete Neolithic village. Skara Bray gained UNESCO World Heritage Site status as one of the four sites making up the heart of Neolithic Orkney, older than the Stonehenge and the Great Pyramid of Giza. It has been called the the, the Scottish Pompeii because of its excellent preservation. 3. Stonehenge Stonehenge is a prehistoric monument on Salisbury Plain in Wiltshire, England, two miles kilometer west of Amesbury. It consists of an outer ring of vertical sarsen standing stones, each around 13 feet high, 7 feet wide and weighing around 25 tons, topped by connecting horizontal intel stones. Inside is a ring of smaller blue stones. Inside IL these are free-standing trilithons, two bulkier vertical sarsens joined by one lintel. The monument, now ruinous, is aligned towards the sunrise on the summer solstice. The stones are set with earthworks in the middle of the denset complex of Neolithic and Bronze Age monuments in England, including several hundred burial mounds. 2. Pyramid of Djoser The Pyramid of Djoser, sometimes called the Steppe Pyramid of Djoser is an archaeological site in the Sakharanekarpolis, Egypt, northwest of the ruins of Memphis. The six-tier four-sided structure is the earliest colossal stone building in Egypt. It was built in the 27th century BC during the third dynasty of the burial of Pharaoh Djoser. The pyramid is the central is the central feature of a vast mortuary in an enormous courtyard surrounded by ceremonial structures and decorations. Its architect was Emotep, chancellor of the pharaoh and high priest of the god Ra. The pyramid went through several revisions and redevelopments of the original plan. The pyramid originally stood 62.5 meters tall, with a base of 109 meters times 121 meters and was clad in polished limestone. The step pyramid was considered to be the earliest large-scale cut stone construction made by man as at 1997, although the nearby enclosure wall Jisr el Mudir is suggested by some Egyptologists to predate the complex and are contemporary. In March 2020 the pyramid was reopened for visitors after a 14-year restoration. 1. Mohenjo-Daro. Mohenjo-Daro is an archaeological site in the province of Sindh, Pakistan. Built around 2500 BC, it was the largest settlement of the ancient Indus Valley civilization, and one of the world's earliest major cities, contemporaneous with the civilization of ancient Egypt, Mesopotamia, Minoan Creel and Norte Chicos with an estimated population of at least 40,000 people. Mohenjo-Daro prospered until around 1700 BC. Mohenjo-Daro was abandoned in the 19th century BCE as the Indus Valley civilization declined, and the site was not rediscovered until the 1920s. Significantly excavation has since been conducted at the site of the city, which was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1980, the first site in South Asia. The site is currently threatened by erosion and improper restoration.